Hey, it's Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple things about dimensions. First is going over some basic concepts about dimensioning, such as what are dim styles, and then creating a new dim style based on an old one. And there I'm going to be getting into a brand new command that we have available in AviCAD called AI Dim Style. And then lastly, I'm going to show you some concepts on what annotative dimensions are. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to keep this video as brief as I can. I do have a CAD course called Shortcut CAD. You can find on cadavenue.com. You can just see the link underneath the video for more about that. Feel free to email me any questions you might have. So on this template, by the way, this template is downloadable. I'll leave a link below as well for that. Uh, these are standard dimension styles, and they're all based on different scales. So, for example, here is a quarter-inch scale dimension. As you plot at a smaller scale, your text sizes are going to become larger. And what we're really trying to achieve is a consistent dimension proportion between all the different scales in a drawing which I'm going to show you just in a bit. So I'm going to take this dimension here. I'm going to copy it with control C, and then I'm going to go into this new drawing here, paste the dimension in, have a look at the dim styles with the D command. Here I can see that I have that new dim style that I just pasted in called dim quarter, and then I have the standard style here. So let's make this one active just by double clicking on it and choose close and let's run the dimension command DLI for dimension linear and I'm going to just type in 12 feet just use your imagination on what I'm dimensioning there but anyways I've got this dimension at 12 feet I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and I'm going to modify this dimension based on what I have so the way I do that is I highlight it, I come over to my properties palette. Let's say I want to change the arrow styles. So I'm going to click each of these here. And then I'm going to change my arrow size to eighth inch. So now I've modified my existing dimension, but if I were to go ahead and draw a dimension in right now, it's going to be using the old style. So I don't want that. What I need to do is click on this dimension, right click to go to the shortcut menu, and then come up and say, save as a new style. So this is a brand new command inside AviCAD 2024. So I'm going to name this dim quarter arrow. Press OK. And now when I go back into my dim style menu with the D command, you'll see it here. So let's double click on this to make it active and then come over to the modify button. And from here, I can choose annotative. Choose OK and close. Now this dimension here is not annotative, as you can see here, whereas the one I just modified here is, and this is the same one that I added the arrow to. So hopefully you're following along. <laughs> hopefully I'm not going too fast. So we've got this one active, and then I'm going to create a couple of rectangles. So the first rectangle is going to be a 10 foot tab, 10 foot. Enter. So that's my 10 by 10 square. And this one's going to be a 25 foot tab, 28 foot rectangle. And if I go into my layout one, you can see these two rectangles here on the sheet. And what I want to do is get rid of this viewport because these are sitting within a viewport window here. Now I've got a video on the viewport windows and how they work but for now what we need to do is just erase this viewport 
and viewports are entities, you can just erase them. You're not erasing your drawing. Type in the viewport command. Make a couple of viewport holes here. And we'll make another one right beside it here. And now double click into this viewport. We're going to set this viewport at an eighth of an inch using this annotation scale list here, down here in this menu bar at the bottom. Double click here, and we're going to change this one to quarter of an inch. So we've got this one here at a quarter of an inch. We don't have a whole lot of room around this rectangle because I'm working on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So that's my problem. So we got um, this rectangle here. I don't want to zoom in and out of these viewports. I want to keep them as is. Now, if I want to expand these viewports out, let's just do that real quick. Just drag them around like so. Okay, let's go back into the model space. I'm going to create a couple of dimensions. One is eighth inch, and one is a quarter inch. So I'm already into the eighth inch equals a foot scale, so I don't have to worry about changing my scales. But as I draw a new dimension in, it's going to size this dimension as needed based on that current scale. So I've got this scale at eighth inch. It's going to size this dimension automatically. And that's what annotation scaling is. So if I change my scale to quarter inch and I come over here and put one in here, you see how much smaller this dimension is as compared to this one? because this one is at a closer scale. Let's go back into layout and let's just bring this one over a little bit so we can see that dimension. But you get the idea. So we got the 10 foot here and the 28 foot here, but notice how the text sizes are the same in both viewports. They've scaled appropriately. Whereas if you look at them in model space, they look different because we drew these choosing the annotated scale list, knowing that this one was going to be a quarter inch and this one was going to be plotted out at eighth of an inch. So hopefully this is giving you a little bit of an insight into annotative scaling and also maybe giving you a little tip on how to create new styles based on existing styles. And maybe you learn some other things. Let me know. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.